Welcome back to another moving vlog, guys. So hello, how are you doing? I hope you're all well. We are back for another edition of the moving vlogs which by the way we definitely need to think of a new title for this series because you guys are absolutely loving it but i think it's nearly 90 days i've been in this house so <laughs> it's been a long move <laughs> So we've got loads of good bits to come in this vlog, but first of all, I wanna start off by giving a massive shout out to the sponsors of today's video, which are Lily Silk. So you've probably heard of Lily Silk before, as I have. They are such a great and prominent company on YouTube that actually bring affordable silk products to people like me and you. One of the big things that I was very excited about is they are known for their pillowcases. So me now having my own home, having my own bed, and wanting to dress it to perfection, I was super excited when they said they'd love to send me over a couple of the pillowcases and also just a couple of products to try. So the pillowcases look like this. They are currently on my bed and can I just say how perfect do they match my bedspread? These are the 19 Mom Trees silk pillowcases with the hidden zippers which I really appreciate and as you can see I did get the monogramming as well which I thought was an amazing touch. Then next, I got this shirt, which I absolutely love. It's such a staple basic. So here is what it looks like on in a better view. So I currently have it tucked in to some leggings to style it. I like it with that sort of puffed top detail, but it is a fairly long top. But tucked into some jeans with some court heels, you can really dress up silk. It's a luxury fabric, so it should be worn in a luxury way. This is the basic cap sleeve silk tee and I got mine in the size large and I also got it in black. I got it in large because obviously silk, as you need to remember, is not a stretchy fabric. And then finally, these beautiful little beauties come. I also want to show you the packaging everything came in, which is this. How stunning is this? It's such delicate floral packaging. I did also get sent the four pack of different silk hair scrunchies and this is the set in black. I'm actually really excited for the scrunchies as well because one of the main benefits of silk is it's actually really good for your hair, hence why they make it in the scrunchies and also the pillowcases. You're gonna see the benefits of having less frizz and less breakage. Probably one of the biggest things for me as well, being such a little clean freak I am, is silk is a natural antibacterial material. It's antifungal and it's also anti-dust mite, which is really good when it comes to the bedding side of things. And then the last thing, which is a really big benefit, wherever you're watching from in the world, whether it's hot or cold, silk is a really good heat regulator. So again, having it as your bedding is a really good option because when you're hot, you feel cool. And when you're cold, you can still feel warm. So a massive shout out to Lily Silk. Thank you so much for sponsoring today's moving vlog and just supporting my channel in general. I will leave the links, of course, to all the products down below. They've also been kind enough to give me a 15% off discount code for you for the entire website, which is Bella15, just to give a bit of context of prices lily silk have aimed to make silk products really affordable so the pillowcases are just twenty dollars a pillowcase which to be fair it's silk if you look after them they're gonna look after you so let's get on with the moving vlog let's scroll back to i believe three days ago when i've just been shopping i am absolutely buzzing i just come back from bnm and denelm oh i've been to denelm for the first time and i was so I've never been in Denelm as a homeowner, so like walking in now where everything is relevant to me was just like a kid in a candy shop. Honestly, I was just like looking everywhere. I was just so excited, but I managed to restrain my spending to a mere 11 pounds. Everyone be proud of me. <laughs> Saying that though, I did go to Ikea yesterday, which you've just seen um, as I came back. But yeah, so I'm feeling a little bit spent out. But I picked up a couple of pillows. Um, this is just for our spare room. But they're literally, they're so nice. It's the Fog Fogarty brand. But yeah, there's a couple of pillows in there. I then picked this up, which I'm very excited about for the front of the house. This was £5. It is the Scroll Half Moon Rubber Doormat. For Denelm, I can link everything in the description. So if you want to shop any of these things, you can find them in the link. The reason I bought this is because out the front of the door, there's a welcome sign, and this one was from Ikea, but it's actually faded out a lot, and um, so I wanna replace it with this, and I think it will look a lot nicer. I then, in B&M, just picked up another one of these storage containers because, let me show you how satisfying this is. In the cupboards on the front room side of the kitchen, these literally fit so nice, like how, 
nice is that? I'm not gonna get any more, I think four is fine because obviously you do lose a bit of space, but we've got like all of our medicine and stuff in here and then like batteries and stuff. But yeah, this is just a really nice store. I just, it satisfies me so much how like perfect they fit there. So yeah, they're the Wham containers and I think like I said, they're two pounds a piece. Also, how cute are these flowers that Andy bought me? They're dying now, but um, they were for Easter. And Easter was ages ago, so they've clearly done very well. <laughs> I also nearly forgot, I bought this for the bathroom as well. It's literally just a tiny little unit. I think it was like 18 pounds. It, was, it wasn't a lot, maybe 15, I'm not too sure. And it's gonna fit so perfect right next to the bath in the family bathroom. I'm, as you guys know, I'm projecting the utility room, the bathroom and the spare bedroom. They're kind of like top list things. So I've just kind of been buying bits and bobs, but this is gonna go so nice with my bath rack. I don't really know what I'm going to put on it, but it's just a little storage for next to the bath. You could always put your cup of tea on that if you wanted, you know. Just little things, little things to tie it all together. Okay, so I know you've seen me in a moving vlog spray these white, but since figuring out what I'm doing with the utility room, I have just sprayed these grey, and they're actually a really, really nice grey. So I used, you won't believe what I used, I used this here, the Auto Extreme spray paint, and it's actually just a grey primer. This was from Poundland, so it's literally a pound, but it is such a nice grey. Like, I know it's going to be hard to see because it's sunny today. It's beautiful, but you'll see when it's up on the wall in this video, but they look so good. So I've just given them one coat, give it half an hour, I'm going to turn them over and spray them again. Here's how they've turned out. They look great. Right, so this is everything I have got to transform the utility room. As you can see, there's loads of new stuff here. So there's just a little crate from B&M. There's a couple of rugs here. This is for outside the door and this is obviously for inside. They were both from Poundland, believe it or not, only a pound a piece. There's these lovely three set of wicker baskets. These were from B&M, I believe they were five pounds. I then have this peg hook which is really handy which was from B&M as you can see it was four pounds and then the pegs inside it these are from the range and I got about three packets in here and I believe they're 2.75 a piece I then just went and picked up this ladder shelf but in gray I currently have the white one in my office and I absolutely love it and I tried it in this space and it fit like an absolute glove so I thought as we're going for a slightly gray theme in there I'll go for the gray one. I then picked up a couple of photo frames from Wilco. These are A4 size ones, which are gonna house these prints here. So I got these prints on eBay. So it's a little laundry and then a laundry room symbols one here. I'll leave the link to this one down below. It's not affiliated or anything. I just found it. I think both of them together were about six pounds. And then I picked up this little storage container, not storage container, a uh, storage container label. And you've obviously got pa tablets, powder, softener, all the different labels on there. That will probably go very nicely on these bottles that are from Ikea. I've also picked up a jar from Ikea, which I will show you now. This is the other jar I bought for the utility room. I thought it could be really nice for like the Vanish Oxy Action powder or something, or even pods. We'll have to see. And then I did buy these, um, which are just washing bags, but they're gray and white, so they go with the theme. So I'm gonna sort of make it very practical and tie all of that in there. So this is everything that I bought for the utility room, and I can't wait. Let's transform it. Now time for the ladder shelf. Let's put this together. So this honestly is the easiest thing to put together. A few screws, a few little wooden pins and you're done. You just put little stickers over these now. I will leave the link to this on the B&M website down below. You can get grey and you can get white. I absolutely love the grey, it's such a nice colour.
your eyes You want this even more Like we are soulmates Something we never felt before Yeah, I don't mind Taking my time Let's stay in this bed now Never get out Cause I would love Wasting time with you, baby Cause I know hope you enjoyed that little montage of doing up the utility room it was so satisfying to do so i have changed a couple of things since those clips because it has been a few days now i've been out and about and had a look around and i have changed things on the ladder shelf by the way sorry the washing machine is on if you can hear that but i absolutely love how this turned out now if you're watching wondering what that was all about as you've seen, I had an electric box behind here and I was saying to my dad and I was thinking myself I wanted to make something like a little cabinet or something just to cover this on the wall and I had this crate from when we were moving, it used to be in my old bedroom and I sort of just randomly looked at it and then sort of put it on the wall and I was like oh my goodness it fits perfect. It looked a bit weird initially just having like this crate thing on the wall, I, I don't know if I should put something on the front here, I need your guys' opinion, you always are very good at helping so if you can think of anything to put on the front but I've ended up buying this Ikea plant which kind of just drapes over nicely and sort of integrates it a little bit more if you know what I mean but considering it's grey as well it really goes with the theme of the room I love it so then the only other things that I've bought new that I haven't shown you guys for this room is so so cute I got these in home sense and these are by Ray Dunn and they are these laundry baskets absolutely love these so as you can see I picked up a smaller one and then a bigger one that fit in like that the bigger one was $7.99 and then the smaller one was $5.99 but I just am gonna put them I've had them as you can see I've not even took the labels off I've just plonked them here and they look so good so let me show you this is what the ladder shelf now looks like I just think it's really nice having the two as the same I just I don't know they did have different ones that said like stuff and lots of different things but I just really like this obviously ignore the labels I do need to take them off this bottom one is actually where I keep like my little peg thing for my socks and the laundry bags um, and it just sort of fits really nice in there I just really like the look of it obviously it goes with the room it kind of is has that nice linen lining I have kept the watering can in the same place I use this every day to water my plants and then I have used this larger container to keep the roll of our bin bags so it's really really handy so I just come in here and pull this out when I'm ready to use the next bin bag I then have my jute on top just because I use that for cooking and my flowers and stuff and then as you see my hinging books are disposable face masks because we kind of grab those as we go and then this is what the shelves look like I never got to show you guys in the montage because my dad hadn't helped me put them up just yet he came over only recently and done this and I think it looks great the other thing that has changes as you can see this now says vanish instead of powder so I actually got these to custom made because I also got the Dettol one made so this is the Dettol laundry cleanser this is obviously the Lenore softener you see me fill up then these are the vanish crystals and then up here I have the two different Lenore unstoppables because I like to use that one for bedding and that one for clothing and then I do have this Mrs Hinch winter edition Lenore Rose Wonderland. I just put that up there as decoration really because it kind of goes with the Mrs. Hinch theme but it doesn't go with the theme of the room. I'm kind of annoyed. I wish the Dettol came in clear and obviously I wish our softener was white but we absolutely love the Lenore Blue. It's our favourite. Then if you haven't seen the empty house tour this is just where our boiler is so this cupboard is nothing. It's just sort of there to sort of tie in with the kitchen but I just absolutely love this setup. I think it looks so clean and it ties into the kitchen so well but also so homely. Love it!